Do never buy, never buy a Lenovo computer. They're terrible. Instead, buy a Dell or a HP. Why? Well, I'll show you why. Let's look at the first problem with these Lenovo's. Um, power cable. Um, let's take a look at this. Very take this out. And for a start, if we look up at the, um, you might be able to notice that there's a black gap between the side yellow and the top yellow. This is because um, the power cable pushes up and it completely takes the plastic protection from the top of the power connector and smashes it straight into the top plastic which means that it can flex down and sometimes it, after a certain amount of time it won't make a connection very easily. Another problem is if we look at this cable, you may notice that the top is completely is a splitting off from the bottom. Um, you can see it there. The top is completely splitting off from the rest of it. All right. Another problem with Lenovo is they don't provide you a, a dummy in here, so that can get dust crap in it. Um, the problem they provide, I don't know if you'll be able to see it here, but uh, the, next to the webcam is a tiny little light, there you can see it, there, um, just put my finger. That, uh, if the webcam's on, it flashes and it really annoys me, especially in the dark, especially if I've got it set up to log on. Another problem. It's inside here, but it's the, well, you, if I can zoom in on the right thing, you'll know exactly what I mean. The wireless card. And it's just not very nice. Um, sometimes it connects, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it disconnects. Um, another problem is the numlock. Sometimes it reads, sometimes it doesn't. Another problem is that it doesn't have the lights. The only other caps lock light, and it's lights down here. Um, yeah, power, battery, and caps lock. No, no more. I'll show you the specs this one actually. Uh, Quad 2.6, blah blah blah, i5. It has a uh, Broadcom Wi Fi in it. Windows 8.1. You don't need to see that part. Another major problem, well, if I show you on the side, but I'll load it up in Windows as well, is right here, where you can see the light through there. It's the DVD drive. It says multi there, it also says minus R, and yet it doesn't read minuses, because I've got a minus in there at the moment. And it won't read it if it opens. Minus R. Will not read it, but it will read plus RWs and whatnot. So, um, it's the mo it worked perfectly fine when I put the Dell drive in that I had in here. One well, I got off Dell. So if I it's it doesn't even show up in here. Uh, you do That's just what I should to burn to it. But it does not show up in here at all. Um, another problem is trapper buttons. That they're, they're really f not very strong, and they to sound terrible. Okay, for sure that's a minute. Let's just look at the bottom of it. What we have is a battery. This is a replacement battery. On warranty, but it's out of warranty now, and it has been since uh, the 8th of September. Um, the whole back panel comes off as one panel. Some people might find this a benefit, I don't, because it, it's uh, you sometimes you just want to access a certain part, but now you go to have a look at the whole thing. 
That is not a problem, that's just showing that this does have Windows 8 and that the sticker has started to peel off. Um, so yeah, so what I would recommend is a Dell. Uh, I've seen that there, that monitor there, a HP, a Dell there, a Dell there. I do not recommend anything by Lenovo, even if it's their ThinkPad line, because the keyboards on them are becoming terribly crap. Um, yeah, and the um, VGA connector doesn't have screw holes on it, so it's a pain. I hate this laptop, and I will never be buying a Lenovo product again. So, instead, I will be buying something from the Dell, uh, probably Latitude series, because they have good quality. In logging, so what you see in the webcam. So might as well just show you. I don't think it's going to pick it up, but that uh, is actually flashing, and therefore it is a bit annoying. Uh, so I would not recommend buying any product from Lenovo, and I would recommend buying a Dell. Or just like I did here, it's a HP, now this is a second hand one, um, as you can see by this, this, the logos. It does have a replacement battery in this one, but... Look, yeah, HP, and this is a HP is way better and it doesn't have a seller one it has a core 2 duo in it that is much better than anything that Lenovo have released and personally if IBM still own them it would be much better so um, yeah, or you could just get a Microsoft Surface Pro or as I said earlier a HP or Dell but if someone, um, if Lenovo actually find this damaging to their reputation, I don't care um, how much it damage their reputation. Um, if I got onto their website, in fact, I've been searching right here. Lenovo is crap, but you can just look at their website and see what I mean. Thank you.